Hi everyone, this is Kylo and me, and in this video I'm here with Kaimo. Um, and actually I went, I just unboxed Katie's package. Uh, and afterwards we went to uh, a big grocery which I can reach so easily. So, uh, well, in general there they have really nice and special stuff. Sometimes stuff I can't find anywhere else. So actually I was pretty happy we could do that for now. Uh, because it's not that easy for me to get there, really. It's really hard. Uh, and I don't have a driving license, so... Um, for that, well, I was so happy we could go today. And actually, we um, went to the pet store first because my parents needed something. And I'm going to show you what I got there first. So, I got these little... Well, first of all, I got this German Shepherd um board there and i also got the border collie one from my door so i can put here one on the wall and one uh, on my uh, room door which is really sweet actually i'm changing all the, the stuff i've been hanging um so that's why i got that one these ones and then we continued to the grocery and also there I found some nice stuff and actually I was about to say you that I wanted to show you that in the video so that's gonna, what I'm going to do now. Um, well, first of all, I wanted to have a look at the Star Wars figures, the 12 inch figures. My nephew found a Kylo Ren figure with his hood off and I wanted to find the same one. I was pretty curious if I could find that one too. But unfortunately all the ones they had had a hood on their head so... Um, but I could find other ones that were pretty rare, if you ask me. Or they might have just been, just been released. I found um, this Finn Trooper figure. And he's... The, well, this is the Finn Stormtrooper. I like that one. So... I was glad I could find Finn. I almost only saw the Jakku Finn. And now I found this one. Too bad, I don't think he comes with a helmet. Um, but these figures are usually meant to be toys, so they do they do pretty bad as a collector's item. I like to use them as collector's items anyway, because for me they they just uh, they're enough. And I found another one that I couldn't find anywhere else, of that I, or that I never saw earlier, Ray. And you get her cane in there, I think. It looks like there is something else too. I don't know, it's really hard. That's that's too bad actually on these figures. Uh, so I don't really know how long those figures have been released. I thought I saw all the assortment. The whole assortment. But it looks like there are even more figures available than I actually thought. So I would suggest have a look in the shop. Hey stranger. My dog doesn't knock the door. Enough said. <laughs> well, that's it for my Star Wars figures. I wanted to have a look at the lightsabers too, but they didn't have any, so except from Kylo's electronic lightsabers. So I already had that one, so no lightsabers this time. <laughs> but I'm actually um, thinking of maybe doing something special with the Blade Builders um, set. The Jedi Master said, but um, for now I didn't find any special ideas about it, so I'll leave this idea for now. Um, now I'm going to show you the plushy stuff that I found there. First of all, I found this adorable little mutton. And actually I, want, I wanted to find a plush mutton because of the muttons on my work, all the sheep. We have two sheep and actually I've been raising them for, for a part myself. And um, they are, well, still one of them is following me like, like I was their mother. So, actually, just so sweet. And I love their furry body. I love caressing them. I love feeling their wool. And I love their little funny affections. They even learn to walk on a leash. So, it's just so sweet. You can do so much with these animals. And I just love mutton so much now. Um... Also, I've been learning a lot about it, and I was about to, to look for a plush. And when I saw this one, look at that face. I was like, that's the one I like. Um, also because she really resembles the mutton on my work. 
I've, I don't really know if all also females have horns, but not every mutton has horns. The ones on my work don't have horns. But if you do it like this, this is Isa, <laughs> the plushy um, white ball, as Ming Ming calls it, from my work. She really is a white ball. That's true. That's true. She looks like a gigantic furry airbag from the back. So she's just so cute. And I was happy to find that mutton. It's just so sweet. And I'm gonna name her Isa. Even though she might be a male, but I'm gonna name her Isa. Because Isa is the only white fluff ball in my life for now. <laughs> um, and the last plushie that I found is one that you might have seen earlier. Um, I found Nick Wilde, the little fox from Zootopolis, I think. They had small ones in my local grocery, but I was, wanted to find a bigger one. And um, I was glad to find this one. It looks pretty good. I don't really know if I will ever find a bigger one. But I love his ears, he's so cute. Never saw the movie yet. So they have this tag. And it looks like they're licensed products. And as you can see, also the Posh Paws Zootopolis plush look really good. Also the rabbit looks nice. Uh, I only could find her in a small version. I was glad I found the fox in a bigger one. I was actually waiting to find him. And actually I was glad. So yeah, <laughs> another little fox. And I love his fluffy tail. He's just such a beautiful tail. I like the, the tip is dark brown instead of white. Sometimes foxes have a white tip on their tail. Not every fox, I believe. So sweet. <laughs> and I believe that's all I had to show you. Oh, well, for, for getting some posters, I got this little Star Wars Rebels book. Uh, I was happy it wasn't that expensive. Um, but I would like, as I said, I would like to change the posters on my walls and stuff like that. So I found these ones. Of course, it's only it's what it's worth. It, but at least I have these two, and there's a chopper one too. So and a stormtrooper. I think I like the stormtrooper even better. <laughs> and I like these ones, the whole gag, um, and the Inquisitor. Like Ming Ming calls him the skilled bad guy. <laughs> yes, he's very skilled, I know. The Grand Inquisitor. <laughs> the bold dude. <laughs> well, I think the guy looks kind of charming. But I'm pretty sure he's not dead. I don't know, I haven't seen the episodes yet. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed my haul. And I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.